Well, I'm almost 40% done. I wonder if I have enough filament. Ooh, I don't think so. Time to come up with a plan. So I don't know if it was too ambitious to try and videotape me as I try this for the first time, especially since I am kind of on a time crunch and I probably only got one chance to make it right. So as I'm thinking about doing this, I thought maybe I should do a test. So I broke off a couple pieces of filament here and what I'm planning on doing is using my hot air gun here on my solder station to just warm it up and stick it together. I don't know, we'll see how this works. I actually took uh, my knife, a little knife scraper here, and I chopped the edges off so I had a bit smoother end. So now let's see if uh, we can get a bit straighter stick essentially. Hmm. The problem here is I am not very steady. Roll up. I think I got it. It's not bad. Well, it ain't pretty, but neither am I and I work, so maybe this will. Now, the problem is I got to try and do all that while it's moving. Thought this would be a better idea. We'll see if this works or not. Hopefully it's not just making a giant rat's nest for when I go to try to use the material. I actually had a lot more material here than I was expecting. Okay, I now have my, well, done spool, my silver gray spooled on top of my black with uh, the connectors right here. Okay, so here we go. I'm still running. I have my two ends nice and cleanly cut off. So now I'm going to try and turn on my hot air gun here. I've noticed that I didn't leave myself a whole lot of room here to connect these, but hopefully I'll still be able to make it work. I have my heat gun turned down to uh, 100 degrees Celsius just to make it a bit more forgiving for me. All right, 100 degrees just isn't hot enough. But here we are at the 200 degrees. You know, it makes sense. I, uh, I shouldn't realize it wouldn't work since it has to be hotter than that to go through the nozzle. So let's try this now. some pliers to make it straight fur okay you know what that looks pretty good here let's get in for a close-up so there's my splice actually looks all right relatively smooth I might run a file over it just to make it a bit better, but uh, that looks all right. Well, so there we go. Uh, I have a splice on there. It actually went not too bad. Um, here's the question though. I don't know if it's going to work. I think it's going to work. It's fairly smooth. It should go through the extruder and all the way through without jamming. Fingers crossed. But um, I'm not going to stay up at night worrying about it since it is about time for bed. Uh, I feel a lot better. You know what's really funny though? I bet I'm going to get through this print and there's going to be no black on it at all and I would have been okay. So let's find out in the morning. So I thought I'd come down and have a look and the black is through 
but I happened to catch it just before it came out. So let's see if this works or if it just jams. Okay, so the black is coming through now, but I did notice that it was jammed in there a little bit. I just grabbed the filament and forced it through uh, the gears a little bit, just to help give it a bit more pressure, and it seemed to release. So hopefully I didn't lose too much. I think uh, I think I might have lost a layer on this uh, this back one here. We'll see if this attaches to anything. Okay. Hey, that looks pretty successful. All right, let's have a look. You can tell that the other material actually has a little bit lower melting point. Once it switched to the black PLA, it uh, got a little stringy and gooey, but it looks like it's well attached. Let's get these off the printer and see what we can find out. So I turned my light on on my camera here, well, my phone, so we can have a bit closer look. Now you can see here where there's a bit of a gap, and that's where it jammed up. So I just didn't quite have that joint smooth enough, but I only missed it by uh, one layer and only half of it this side here looks pretty good so was it all worth it in the end is it actually worth messing around and trying to glue your ends together um yes and no uh if you're trying to make a quality part and you're trying to make a finished product then i would really not recommend this uh, this piece here that I was making was just a prototype. It was just to see how my pieces fit together. I wanted to make sure what I designed on the computer would work in the real world. So this was just my first print on it. I'm going to take the information I got here, do some changes, and then print it again. But when I print it again, I will make sure that I have enough material. Because there were some issues with this. The main problem that I believe I had is that I just didn't have uh, that connection nice and smooth. Remember I was trying to work on that and it did show up here in the piece where I do have a, a line missing. So it's worth it if you're just trying to use up the last year material and you don't want to have a bunch left over but not so much if it's a finished part because the chance of you uh, wrecking it or having it not turn out as polished and as nice as it should is very high. So, after that, thanks for watching my video. Uh, thanks for making it all the way to the end and I really hope this helped you guys. If you have any other ideas of how to use up the very last of your filament or how to not run out of filament without using a filament alarm that some of the new printers have, let me know. And uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Please like the video if you liked it and also share it with some friends. I'll have a couple links for a couple other videos show up here in the corners and I hope you can enjoy those as well. Take care. Have a good one. Wow, that's kind of hot. Woo. Wow, those uh, ends are still kind of hot. Oh, yeah, that's hot still, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, that's warm still. Oh, yep.